Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Um, and in this video I want to look at using the gradient tool but using it just with bitmap images or pictures for want of a better phrase. Um, and this all came about from a Facebook um, article that John Harris posted in the Fans of Serif Software group where unfortunately he used a picture of me, I'm very sorry of that, about that but he added this repeating uh, background and he, he said that he used the gradient fill to do this and this wasn't something I knew you could do so I've, looked into, I've been looking into this um, and he did only post this about an hour, two hours ago and I've only been tinkering around trying to work out how this works for about 10-20 minutes so I, I may make a mistake along the way here in fact I can almost guarantee it but hopefully you, you will bear with me and you will learn like I have just learnt how to use this tool now I've opened up an A4 document and I'm going to just quickly draw a rectangle over the top to fill that in and then I'm going to come to the gradient tool or just press G on the keyboard and then in the options that run along the top here by default it's set on solid we've got the normal gradients which I knew about but at the bottom it says bitmap and when you click on that it will open up where, wherever your documents may be and you may have to navigate to find them but I'm just going to click on this tractor image here and as you can see it has filled that page that square that I made with the tractor image now up here we've got maintain aspect ratio you can click this on or off so if I made alterations now with it off I could squash it and elongate it in certain directions and if I click it on no matter how I move this it will stay in proportion now you've got this um, L shaped um, icon thing here with nodes at the end and in the middle now the middle one, if you click and move this, it moves it around. And then the end ones will shrink or enlarge the image. So if I click and move this in, I can get loads and loads of different versions of this. And similarly, I could do it that way. And obviously, as you can see, you can rotate it however you want so let's, if I go to about there so you could make a sort of um, I don't know like a wrapping paper for example image out of this if you wanted to so there you have the what you can do using the gradient bitmap tool and as you can see this fill um, it normally has the colour in this but at the moment it's got a sort of you can maybe just make out the the end of this digger uh, tractor whatever you want to call it just at the end there so if I make another rectangle above this it will keep that fill because it's still selected up there so I mean you don't necessarily have to stick with rectangles you could go for a heart shape and as long as it still has that fill option up there you could have fills um, hearts or whichever shape they have here I mean even a donut so as you can see there are different ways of using 
this bitmap feel. Now, another thing I have also discovered, and if I just close this down and then make another new document, let's say four, again I will let's go back to the rectangle tool and I'll just quickly cover that background layer with a rectangle but what I will do now is I will make a new layer and rather than make a rectangle on this I will just go straight to the gradient tool come to bitmap select the same tractor and then if I just I can just click once and drag and I just get one image of this because I hadn't selected a box to put this into um, so again you've got the various ways of moving it and resizing it and move the overall thing from the middle one and if I just demonstrate the turning this maintain aspect ratio off I've turned that off I can now stretch this in weird and wacky shapes however I want it because the aspect ratio has been turned off if I turn it back on again now it will keep the aspect ratio of how I altered it beforehand so these are various things that you could do using this gradient bitmap tool and I should be able to if I draw another box oh no see so the fill has disappeared so I can't then repeat that fill again because it has now disappeared so it only sort of works in the way I used it first time at least I think so let me just double check if I draw a box here and go back to the gradient tool yeah see it is I've lost that fill option I would have to pick a new tractor for example and then that will allow me to alter it differently so if you want to have many versions of this you need to sort of draw a box and then go to the gradient tool and fill it in with an image or if you just want to have one image don't draw a box you know put a blank layer above um, the layer that you have at the background and it should just draw the one version of whichever image you're placing into it now obviously these layers can now be altered like a normal layer in the sense that like you could change the blending mode to something else that may suit you know, something like that or you can resize them using the move tool so once you've used and made these layers using the gradient tool with the bitmap option after that you can then just use them like normal layers so hopefully that I've covered everything that you're likely to find out within 10-20 minutes on how to use this tool and hopefully like me you have learned something new so thank you for watching and goodbye